here with Josh. He is a product expert from Course Air, and we're standing in front of what a lot of people I think would consider to be a really, really awesome home-built PC. I would say right the, I would say a dream PC. That's right. Yeah. Now we've got uh, it's got an awesome Course Air case, GTX 460. Great. I'll, I'll let you get into all the all the details here in just a second. But the real reason we're here is to show people how easy it is to install the Corsair H70 liquid right. cooling system into a computer like this. When you, if you have a computer that's got great components, yep. at this point there's no excuse to not water cool your computer because it's so easy and it's also it also works so well. Yeah, and, and if you're buying a Dominator GT and GTX 460 and the other major components that you have in here, we know you're going to be overclocking, so you're going to definitely want to keep it cool above a stock right. CPU fan. So why don't you go ahead and show us around this thing. First of all, like the, the first thing I notice on this is the case because it's gigantic right. and it's also really, really awesome. So what's the, what's the story with, <coughs> with this case that we're looking at right here? This is the 800D, the Obsidian 800D, and it, it is fully featured through and through. You've got everything you could possibly want in a case. You've got enough room for a tri-SLI configuration, which we're not the playing here at the time, but you also have your cable management, which has all of your cables routing through these rubber grommets to keep in the back so that you can display the key components you want to see without a big cluster. It makes it really easy because you know the, if you don't have a case like this and you want to do like really, really nice cable management, you're talking about hours and hours and cut up hands and, zip and, ties and, and just absolute yep. misery trying to make it look really, really good. This exactly. makes it literally where you just kind of shove the cables back there, put the back right. on, and it looks like you put 10 hours into it. Absolutely. And what yeah. you said earlier that it's an easy install. I mean, that to build the system with an, uh, an Obsidian 800D makes it extremely simple because of the cable management, okay. but also because you've got really neat things like hot swappable hard drive base where you just slide your hard drives right on in. You don't have to worry about all Very that cool. cable management as well. Um, you've also got room here for your power supply. More fans down here. Um, it comes featured with two 120 millimeter fans, but it also, if you do want to get crazy with water cooling, we do make that available for you as well. We have the water cooling cable management here and in the rear as well. That's right, because this is the easy water cooling. It'll this water cool your CPU. If you want to get right. crazy and water cool your memory and exactly. your video card and all that stuff, you can. You, you we, can. We definitely don't want to leave you out if that's sure. your agenda. And that, you know, it's it, there's a lot of people doing that. But okay. again, the H70 is extremely efficient, all-in-one, maintenance-free solution. Now, you've got your hot swappable hard drive bays. It's also got the Corsair F120 120 gigabyte SSD. This thing has 285 meg read speeds, 275 write speeds. That's 275 megs of data in one second written to this SSD. And check this out. Not just the SSD, it's got a two terabyte Western Digital black hard drive too. We've got room for three 80 millimeter fans right here along the top. Okay. We also have um, a cool air filter right down yep. here at the bottom that you can yeah, keep your system clean. When you live in a dusty filth hole like my house, <laughs> you need something just like this. And also it's got the, the, the very cool uh, push no, button release no of tool the push button side panel release button here. We also have five three and a half inch drive base here along the front so you can put uh, a fan control, multiple drives, right. um, a Blu-ray, DVD burner, whatever you want to install here, you've got five spots to do that as well. Now it's also got a 1200 watt power supply and you were telling me that this is actually like, like really power efficient for being 1200 watts. Absolutely, it's an 80 plus gold certified okay. um, at all loads and um, that keeps it extremely efficient which means that it's using more than 80 percent of the power that's coming from the wall socket to power your computer and that means less heat um, generated from the power supply. Meanwhile, if you do have a tri-SLI system, this will be more than efficient to power, uh, power it all the way through. Very nice. Now, also, of course, we got the GeForce GTX 460 in here. And, uh, and a P55 Classified. Which is like the every geek's dream. Well, Absolutely. It, well, the, maybe the P58 too, but this is the P55. Yeah. And then also, we have the Dominator GT memory we got uh, what do we have uh, eight gigs in there you've got eight gigs and it's 2,000 megahertz we're not <laughs> we're okay. not talking about a 1333 here we're talking a full 2,000 megahertz memory in there and you've got eight gigs of it and ready I, to go to power it and I see the CPU in here this is a uh, this is a uh, it looks like an Intel Core i7 it's a Intel Core i7 875 all right so this so. is this is clearly a serious machine like, absolutely like any, any geek worth their salt would be thoroughly happy to have this sitting Definitely. under their desk 
Now, as we look at this, obviously some components are, are missing, but but the one thing you notice is missing more than anything else is the fact there's no cooler on this installed CPU. at the moment. Yeah. Right. So we're going to show everybody. We're going to get down to the meat of this thing. Everybody wants to see how easy this is to install. So we're yep. going to go ahead and show everybody how how easy it is to actually mount this thing up inside this computer. Perfect. All right. So we've got the machine turned around. We've got the back panel taken off. And so the first step when we're going to install the H70. Um, this is a cool case, by the way, because this is we got the removable panel here that gives you access to the actual backplate of the CPU here. Exactly. So you, so you can actually tinker and change things without yeah. having to pull the motherboard out of the case. Right, that's the key feature. I mean, if you want to change your CPU or you want to change your CPU cooler, you don't have to completely undo all of your wiring. Cool. You don't have to rip out your memory, your video card, disconnect it from the chassis. You've got this backdoor pane that you can just open and change anything you need to with regard to your uh, CPU. Very cool. So our first step is to get the uh, the right bracket out Absolutely. of the box, right? And it yep. comes in, and it comes with brackets for every possible yep. modern CPU, right? right. You've got both Intel and AMD brackets, okay. 1156, 775, all of them available. Awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and show me what's the what's the first step here? How's how's this going down? So what you'll do is you'll take your bracket and mount it here. Okay. We do have double stick tape, so you can have it there permanently. Okay. And that makes it a lot easier for when you're installing the front bracket on the other side that we'll get to here Absolutely. in just a second. Absolutely, rather than having yep. to do the sandwich rather than game. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, rather than having one hand holding it and the other mm -hmm. one not. So okay. that's what we'll do with the back. That's, that's as easy as it is. Okay. You've got your back plane now on and you're set. Great. So the first step is just going to be actually installing the fan to the radiator itself, right? Absolutely. Okay, so and that's just as simple as just screwing in just a few screws that come along with it. All the all of the hardware is provided, and this yep. is in a push-pull configuration, right? So this is actually going to be blowing air this way, and the other fan's going to be blowing the air right. through. So it's actually pushing the air from one side and blowing it through the other side. Now the next part of the radiator installation is to actually remove the exhaust fan that's already in the case, which is pretty simple, just four screws, just unscrew them right here and pop that fan right off. Now, the next step is just mounting the radiator, so you're just going to pull the radiator right up here and screw that on to your exhaust fan that's right here. It just takes four screws and it's on there. So we've got your radiator and your push-pull fan configuration installed here. Uh, it also includes, in case you need it, uh, a splitter, a fan splitter. So if you don't have enough fan connections on your motherboard, you can simply use that splitter right there. And it has a couple of voltage regulators as well. So if you don't want the fans to run at 2,000 RPM, you can actually step them down with these voltage regulators right here. Next step is just take these clips and install them right here into the bracket that comes along. Now remember, you have brackets for all the modern CPU types included, so you just pop these right in here, and your next step is to take this and screw it right here onto your motherboard. So now it's as simple as just taking your block over here, setting it down, and rotating it into place right there underneath the bracket. Then all you have to do is tighten up the bracket and you're good to go. You have successfully installed a water cooler right there on your CPU. It's actually that simple. So there you go. We, uh, I installed uh, water cooling in this computer, and to tell you the truth, I have no business installing <laughs> water cooling. I don't think anybody <laughs> would ever believe that I installed a water cooling system in a computer. So you know, for people that don't want to get into the the you know the ultra complicated water cooling setups and all that, this is going to allow yeah. you to take that next step into overclocking and all that without. Have to worry about, about spilling all over your motherboard and everything right. else. I mean, you don't need to have surgical hands to install it, obviously. Obviously, because <laughs> I'm an idiot, and this is, uh, this is great. So very, very cool stuff, very easy to install. Uh, great new stuff from Corsair. Yeah, definitely. And again, we call it the Dream PC because pretty much everything in this system, your water cooling, your hard drive, your power supply, the case, the memory, is all Corsair. Right on. I mean, other than the video card, CPU, and motherboard, you've got yourself a Corsair Dream PC. Definitely a great system. Thanks for uh, thanks for showing it off. Really appreciate it. And thanks yeah. for showing me how to install uh, a water cooling system. Yeah, absolutely. A lot easier than I thought. Thanks. There you go. Check it out. It's the brand new Corsair H70 water cooling system.